Hi, good morning. I am Dr. Avnish Saklani. I am Associate Professor of Colorectal and Robotic at Tata Memorial Center, Mumbai. I think uh, the incidence of colorectal cancer in India is supposed to be low, 6 per 100,000. But if you look at a population of billion people, the number of patients with colorectal cancer is very high. We have, which is different from the Western world, we have young patients of colorectal cancer. Median age of a population is 46 years. We looked at our one year data and the number of patients which are less than 40 years of age are almost 40 percent, which is a high thing. Majority of these are rectal cancers. They have poorly differentiated histology, signet ring. It's very common. And unfortunately, the outcome of these patients is not good. Five-year survival for colorectal cancer in India from our registry is shown is only 30 percent, whereas in the Western world or even in Southeast Asia, it's about 60 to 70 percent. I think the outcomes for rectal cancer have not improved over the years. So I think there were there was an urgent need to improve this. So as a subspeciality, we've been trying to focus this. I think the uh, challenge is the patients who come to us are slightly different, is a mindset. In the Western world, patients come at a slightly older age. Uh, the tumors are detected at an earlier stage, about 20% uh, would be early cancers. Whereas in India, these patients are detected very late because primary care is in that grade. They come as late locally advanced. Uh, there is also a change in psych as well. People don't accept stomas very well. So if anyone, if you also have a permanent stoma, they tend to default treatment. So almost 10 to 20 percent of a patient do not take any treatment at all. And obviously outcomes for this are not going to be good. So that's a big challenge for us. How to manage, how to improve early screening and get these cancers early. How to treat locally advanced cancers. How to treat metastatic cancer. So it requires an organized approach. At Tata Memorial, we've managed to organize this into a subspeciality service and improve this. For early cancers, uh, we are offering minimal invasive surgery in terms of laparoscopy and robotics, so the uptake of patients is good. For advanced cancers, we are offering, and recurrent cancers, we are offering exenterative surgeries. For patients with peritoneal metastasis, we are offering cytoreductive and hyperx surgery. And overall, focusing on early, locally advanced and recurrent cancers will tend to improve survival in the long term. We are also involved in teaching and training residents. A lot of people are interested in this. And we are sure over a period of years, as people move out into regional cancer centers and states, the outcome of colorectal cancer is going to improve. Once we are able to manage uh, patients who present with symptomatically, we can look at screening as well. I think we need to investigate primary care practitioners, uh, doctors about uh, all rectal bleeding is not hemorrhoids. They probably need endoscopy screening. We need to get together as a society to make sure all patients with change in bowel habits are not treated as either infective diarrhea or hemorrhoids. So I think improving the symptomatic pathway will detect early cancers and then the outcome of these patients will improve. We also have to improve other services like stoma care services so that patients will accept permanent stoma and their quality of life is maintained. Education and awareness in the society about high fiber diet is also very important. I find this a very important question because uh, you would normally think that India is a poor country and should we be offering robotic in this uh, cash depleted society. But I think we have to look ahead of time. When we try to offer surgery to our patients, we are not only looking at oncological outcome because we want them to be cured. We also want them to accept the treatment. We also have to look at the quality of life. And the fact that these patients are 46 years of age, that means if they survive, they're going to live for a long time. So you have to look at the quality of life. With robotics, I think it uh, has a thing that it will improve the quality of life. In terms of that, you have very good visualization. Conversion of patient to open surgery is less. Nerves are very well seen. So the urinary and sexual function recovery is earlier in robotic. You can dissect low down in the pelvis and where all these patients who would require a permanent stoma earlier on, you can save the sphincter by doing intersphincter resection. And that, I think, has been a success because there are so many people coming all over the country because they don't want a permanent bag. And if we have downstaged this tumor by either chemo radiotherapy, robotics helps in good dissection down in the pelvis interspentric plane. We can fire a stapler, you can have good functional outcome. I have seen so many young patients with rectal cancer who had a successful outcome where the sphincter has been saved and they have good urinary and sexual functions. Obviously, we need to do more studies on this, but there is evidence from Korea and Annabelle. 
uh, to show that urinary and sexual functions are better. So I think for our group of patients where the median age of patients is 46 and you have more male patients with rectal cancer, I think robotic was a must and Tata Memorial has taken a lead in doing this. In fact, it's a great goal even for locally advanced one when you do exenterative surgery, we do this by laparoscopy now. I think forming a conduit intracorporeal and ureteric anastomosis, the final skills you see, much which are difficult in laparoscopy can be done by robotic. Not all people have access to laparoscopy because the learning curve of laparoscopy is very long, but robotic makes it easier. We are trying to train residents and fellows to do this, so hopefully robotic is coming in a long way, a lot of companies coming in there. I think everyone needs to be trained for this because it's easier to use and it is for a patient benefit. Cost is a factor at present, but I think if you look at the long term in terms of quality of life and patients accepting surgery and the decreased rate of stomas, I think this is going to be a benefit. I think uh, we have done a great job in dust pans. Mm -hmm.